because I, I just figure once the lights turn on and the and the yeah. camera turns on, I might panic and, <laughs> and not know what to say. So. Well, let me turn real quick and then we'll start. All right, cool. Lived, lived a little bit of a rough life growing up. Was uh, was 28 when I finally came into a relationship with Christ. I was a little reluctant to do that, honestly. And, and I think he was working on my heart for a period when I didn't even know it. I had a lot of issues, man. Um, I had a lot of hurt in my past, a lot of uh, a lot of sin, um, addictions and vices, a lot of struggle. And really, man, like in a few months, like a few short months, like Christ really did a work in me. And it, it was really cool. It was powerful. It was this awesome time in my life. So life is good. I don't want to say for the first time, but it's like it's the best life has ever been. Not too long after that, I guess about three years ago, yeah, it was in 2021, that um, we're on a little family vacation with some friends. All of a sudden, man, my son Jay starts kind of acting funny. Like we're like, hey, what's going on here? And uh, he he started out like he was just kind of walking a little bit funny, and then he was talking a little bit funny, and we're like, man, what's what's going on? And and so we couldn't really figure it out. He uh, he goes to bed that night. He wakes up the next day, and it's like everything's fine. I'm like okay. And then uh, later that day, same, same thing. He starts he's having a hard time walking, and this time like he can't really get upstairs, and he's just like exhausted and like man something is not right here get to the er here locally sacred heart they don't know what's going on they don't know what to tell us and all the symptoms that we're telling them about are like not there anymore and so they're like we don't know what to tell you we would go down to shans and um in gainesville we decided to just like drive to gainesville we've been trying to get um a referral over there and it's just taken forever and I'm like you know we're just, we're just gonna go and we show up at 8 a.m. and I'm like hey I don't know what's going on something's going on and I'm not leaving until somebody can can tell me and and that day they're able to diagnose it and figure it out that he's got myasthenia gravis it's a rare neuromuscular disease uh, mostly common in like elderly adults um, very rare for a kid to get it's like a legit one in a million and boom life just turns upside down it quickly starts getting worse significantly worse um researching and learning as much as i can digging in as much as i can and i'm i'm really just trying to figure out like how how do i fix this how do i make this right you know i'm his dad um that's my job how do i fix this we have a surgery you know we go up to philadelphia uh, we find the best surgeon in the country and we go see him we have the surgery done and we try all these medicines and treatments and and we just keep thinking like things are going to get better and they just keep getting worse and so like during that time man i hear god just like speaking to me he's like you just gotta let go you just gotta let go and let me handle this this is my son he's not yours so i just had to kind of come to terms with that like i've just i've just been given sorry i've just been given this job you know i've just been given this responsibility this opportunity and i'm just supposed to be a good steward of it i mean really just like left with no choice at this point it's just like God, he's yours. He's working this out. He's doing this. There's got to be a plan and a purpose to this. And I don't know what it is, but I'm trying to find it. You know, like I'm trying to, to cling to that. God's past faithfulness demands our present trust. And so I'm like, okay, I know in the past, looking back, you know, all these things that he was working out that like, you can't see that stuff unless, you know, it only makes sense in hindsight. Knowing that, like I can trust him now in this present time where there's so much uncertainty. I have no idea where we're headed, but I know he's got a plan for this. So I just started leaning into that and trying to figure out, okay, like what can I do in this season? Like how can I be of use to God in this season? Like in this ICU room or whatever. And just trying to be a light to others, you know, there in the hospital, 
nurses and doctors and other parents and people going through stuff. He's, he's still not better. We've, we've seen some minor improvements and um, we're still optimistic, we're still hopeful, but we still don't have answers. And we still don't know like where this is going. You know, God doesn't promise that, that this walk with him is gonna be easy. You know, he just promises that like he's gonna be with you in the middle of it, you know? And, and so like that's, like that's everything, man. I mean, just, just knowing that like we're not alone in this, you know, that like I don't have to put all my faith in a doctor. I don't have to put all my faith in science, you know, like I can put my faith in someone who is trustworthy, you know, who has always been there and who cares, you know?